Hi folks. I'm going to tell you a story that illustrates the brutality of extreme liberals and political correctness and why we must challenge them at every opportunity we get. <coughs> For this illustration, we must go to Europe. That's it, kids. Europe. And the reason why we go to Europe for this demonstration, one of the reasons, was because the liberalism that originates in Europe, in its extremities, attached to political correctness, finds its way across the Atlantic and then infests these here United States of America. And once we get it here in the United States, we're not finished with it. Why we ship it across the Pacific and the poor people in Japan become afflicted with it also. Let's go back to Europe. Scandinavia, the nation of Sweden. June 2009. A married couple with their seven-year-old son boards a plane heading for India. The wife was born in India. The police come aboard and kidnap the child. That's what they did. They yanked the child from the parents, took him off the plane, without a warrant and sent them off into foster care. So now what did these parents do that was so horrible that the authorities had to send in the police to kidnap that child? They homeschooled him. Instead of sending him to a public school to get the left-wing liberal indoctrination uh, sprinkled with political correctness and anti-religion doctrine being thrown upon them. The parents kept the child at home. They taught him. So that's an offense in Sweden. You are not allowed to homeschool your children. The second offense they committed was teaching him Christian principles. The night a homeschooled child rooted in Christianity. Could you get any more offensive to extreme liberals and political correctness than that? That child is still in the state custody, living in a foster home. So now, it goes to court and the judge says, you know, by homeschooling that child, he is socially isolated and you stunt his development. So wait a minute, but taking him away from the parents for now close to two years, no problem. It has no ill effect upon the child. That's how extreme liberals think. That's how the political correct crowd wants you to think. The father, they allowed visitation of this child, I think for an hour, once every five weeks. During one of those visits, the father took the child home to meet the rest of the family. The authorities arrested the father and charged him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you dastardly criminal. And he was charged with unlawful detention. His own son? That's right. And heavy handedness with a child. His own son? When the mother meets with the child once every five weeks for an hour, naturally the mother's crying. And the authorities told her, You keep that up. We're going to reduce your visitation rights. What do you mean crying? See? To extreme liberals and the political correct crowd, when a gender exposes its natural self, why, it's an affront. It's an affront to liberalism and the political correct crowd. So now the child, being raised in a loving family before he was kidnapped, now that he's with the foster family and he goes to a public school, it's been reported what this child does at school. And they're upset. His classmates, he hugs them and he kisses them on the cheek. And that upsets the authorities. Whoa, there says they. See, a well-balanced child shows affection and somebody gets offended by that. Now, this is disgusting what's happened to this child, to this family, in liberal Sweden. I bring this up as a warning to the people in these here United States. There is a treaty, the UN 
Convention of the Child, something to that effect. The UN Convention to the Rights of the Child. Two nations have not ratified it, Somalia <laughs> and the United States. And the reason why the United States has not ratified it yet is because our Senate and conservatives in this country feel that this treaty will stop homeschooling in this country. And we homeschool a lot in these here United States of America because of the pollution that goes on in our public schools. This treaty threatens that. Folks in the United States, we need to be warned. Those of you in Japan, you need to be warned also because it starts in Europe. It comes to the United States and gains new initiative and spreads across the Pacific. Extreme liberalism and all its forms, be it environmentalism or animal rights and political correctness, it must be challenged. It must be stopped. That poor family. All right, folks. We'll see you. God bless you. God bless America. God bless the nation you happen to be in. And may God be with those parents and that poor child that's been stolen from the loving arms of that family. See you, folks.